notice how everybody calls you guys. Hello, wonderful, beautiful people. I am here to answer your questions. Um, there's a couple things I would just like to talk about really quickly. Um, first of all, I'm recording during the day, so it might be a little noisy. There's a lot of construction still, again. So, um, you might hear some nail guns or jackhammering. I haven't heard much jackhammering today, so hopefully. Um, another thing is I've been asked if I add binaural beats into my videos. Uh, I haven't since moving here, uh, which was just last May. And um, it's actually the air conditioners on the balconies that are running, and it's really, really hot today. So right now, you'll probably hear what sounds like like a soft static in the background. That right now is my air conditioning vent behind me. Uh, it's closed, so it almost sounds louder. And um, the third thing is, I have been asked by quite a few people if I have a Patreon account, and uh, I didn't, but now I do. Um, it was fun, really fun to make. I like things like that, that um, you can really be creative and kind of just, you know, add a video and be able to communicate with your subscribers um, in a way. I don't really want to just go on and explain what Patreon is. You can, uh, I'll put a link below for my Patreon, but you can check out, there's other uh, ASM artists as well on there. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about that for now. And it, well, I can say thank you to um, my four patrons already. Uh, so that's wonderful. I'm so excited. Yeah, a lot of the reason I don't record a lot lately is because it's because of the background noise, you know, I want it to be perfect and uh, I, uh, I want to make more videos, I want them to be fun and uh, different, so we'll see. Uh, let's start with your questions. I am very excited. There are 101 questions, which is a really awesome number. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Uh, I looked through most of them. I might have to really just quickly scan over some of the questions to make sure that, uh, you know, that they're okay. Anyways, okay, here we go. So my first question is, what book would you pack with you right now if you were going on a, a vacation? Hmm. I would probably... Uh, well, being on a vacation, especially if there was a beach, that kind of thing, I would want something that I would be able to immerse myself in also while taking in the environment around me. Um, so I, oh god, I don't know, actually probably bring Carl Jung's Red Book. I really, really want to read that. So that would probably be a very nice way to read it, wouldn't it? Okay, that was a long answer. <laughs> What is your favorite movie? Pulp Fiction. Um, yeah, Pulp Fiction's amazing. That's my favorite. Quentin Tarantino movies in general. But that one uh, is one that is probably the only movie I could keep watching over again. Every couple of years I just sit and I have my Pulp Fiction night. <laughs> so yeah. Do you think magic exists and if so where do you find it in this world 
Yes, I think magic exists. Uh, I believe it's all stuff that we can't see. And uh, where do you find it in this world? Well, I could be corny and say that it's inside of us. Which it is, if you think about it. But, uh, well, I believe in a lot of super supernatural guess you could say where do you find it I think you have to manifest it yeah. I have a comment here that just says uh, you remind me of Tonks from Harry Potter books don't ask me why it was just for saying it lots of love for you um, Tonks is also uh, Asha in Game of Thrones so I actually went and looked and I think that's that's pretty funny <laughs> I don't see it um, she's actually uh, she's actually very beautiful so I'm gonna say thank you um, and do you watch House of Cards or Orange is the New Black I love those shows House of Cards uh, I haven't tried watching yet, even though it's, I believe it's Kevin Spacey. He's one of my favorite actors, too. So I will watch that, but Orange is the New Black. Of course I watch it. Yes. Um, both seasons. How old are you? Ah, uh, 30. I am 30 years old. I hate saying it. What got you interested in ASMR? Uh, I don't know if you could say like what video got me interested. Uh, I was hooked right away on Water Whispers Elsa. Um, I loved watching how all the videos were similar but different and creative and relaxing and I just uh, wanted to give it a try and see if I could do it so. all right um, sorry I had to change around the camera and stuff so okay so my next question is have you met Aldo Nova and I actually looked him up just quickly no, I haven't. Uh, he's a, I guess, like a hairband rock singer. I, I don't know. No, I haven't. Sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you feel okay since your injury? Uh, I am okay, obviously. Uh, I do have good days and bad days. Um, mostly since I have gotten out of the hospital. It's mostly just pain I'm dealing with. Um, some of it will be stuff that I'll deal with for a while probably, which is, I can deal with uh, nerve pain. But, um, and uh, the thing is that I, I overstretched a muscle doing physio and it's right at my hip on the left side so it's it's where I breathe it's where I laugh it's where I twist it's where I reach it's hard to transfer you know um, so I have gone in for one treatment shot uh, so I am feeling a little bit better the pain just feels a little bit different but yeah I'm okay uh, I get emotional a lot of the time but um, I mean it's it's to be expected so, uh, yes, I'm okay. Thank you. What is your favorite band or music group? Uh, favorite? I always say my all-time favorite. It's not something I listen to a lot because it has a lot of nostalgia. Is um, Fleetwood Mac. I'd have to say that's something that, yeah, I think I had answered that already. 
in uh, a Facebook message. I listened to Lord L O R D E. Uh, she's amazing. She's one of my favorites right now. So, uh, how old are you? You're so pretty. Thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, I'm thirty, like I said. What's in store for your near future? Hopes, plans, wishes. Well, I do want to start working. I miss it. I really do. Uh, in, uh, I want to be a physical therapy aide. Um, hopes, plans, and wishes. I hope to get married. And I... I hope... I actually... One of my wishes, I guess you could say, is to talk to people that uh, are in my situation. Either being disabled in a wheelchair, I don't like saying that word, just being in a wheelchair, or, um, you know, anything that has to do with uh, mental illness, stuff like that. I would really like to do that. I actually <clears throat> have some resources and I'm going to look into that. In the next few months, maybe. Uh, the next one says, Kara, it's so wonderful to hear your voice. Thank you. Thanks for that comment. So my next one is, square root of potato, who pooped in my pants, and how many cards in the WoW trading card game? Okay, so squ square root of potato is 42. Who pooped my pants? That was probably you. And how many cards in the WoW TCG? I honestly can't tell you. There's too many. To, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, WoW is World of Warcraft. If you're not familiar, it's a game. Uh, so what advice do you have for someone who has or is contemplating suicide? or self-harm. First thing I would say is don't do it. Um, and one of the really, that's, it's a hard thing to answer, but I would say what I've been told is as much as you feel like you are absolutely all alone, you're not. You're not. You're, you're just not. <laughs> uh, another thing is uh, something that's just kind of sobering to hear or read is that uh, the majority of it attempts end up kind of like my situation. So, um, it's just not worth it. I would look into finding some kind of outlet, either for uh, emotions or just creativity, even just writing in a journal. Um, it sounds so simple, but it really, once you, know, once you get into it and really start doing it, it helps you get your mind off of all of those thoughts, and I know what that feels like. So my answer. It's going to take me a while. It's going to be a nice long video for you guys. My air conditioner just went on again. So what's your favorite emoji? Best wishes. I don't know because I don't really see a lot, but I actually really love the little poop. Yeah, it's just cute. I like it because it's just straight to the point if, you know, you're reading something, I don't know, on the internet, you know, obviously. Um, just throw a little, little poop in there and uh, you're good to go. Would you ever do a crossover with ASMR requests? That's Ali. Uh, of course I would. Of course I would. That would be amazing. Collaborations uh, are a lot of work, a 
lot of work. And um, that would be something that I would definitely love to do with so many different artists. Uh, I have a couple collaborations kind of going on right now. You guys will know about it. I'll post. I'll post them on my uh, on my channel for you. Okay. Do you ever find yourself looking at your previous videos? And if so, any in particular? Yes. Uh, there's two. The first one is my uh, the travel whisper travel into space. I actually listen to that because just works for me. I think it's really cool and it kind of explores your imagination. Um, I got the script actually online. It was a free guided meditation um, kind of for beginners and I gave it a try and it's one of my favorites. So I listened to that one and I keep going back to my cranial nerve exam because for a lot of people that produce, make things, you know, paint things, do videos, do anything like that. It just feels like it's never really good enough. And I love the reaction and the support and the amount of views. There's over 600,000 views on it. And uh, there's so many things that I wanted to do better for it. So I'm really glad you guys like it. Yeah. Um, what type of music do you like? I like uh, rock alternative type of music. Um, I like Breaking Benjamin, Chevelle. Um, I love Tool, Perfect Circle, uh, Seether. <coughs> That kind of stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Um, a lot of people, uh, well, I see a lot of people, a lot of friends and family, they, you know, they're like, wow, the music you listen to is, is pretty either angry or sad, you know. But uh, I find it's a good way to, you know, or in Lincoln Park, okay. I saw them live and they were absolutely amazing. I would see them again for sure. just, uh, you know, you hear someone else either saying those lyrics that you're just, you're so in tune with, or hearing them scream a little, or just, it's kind of like it, when I listen to it, it's almost like I'm doing it, you know, so sometimes it's just a really good good way to express or even find out things that you, maybe you're feeling that you had no idea. I love music, obviously. I could talk about it for hours. <laughs> if you could go back in time for one week, what year would you go to? I always said I would go to 1969. Um, I want to be like 21 or 22 years old at Woodstock. That has always been a dream. But I would want to go back knowing about my life now. Not, not just now now, but I mean in general. And uh, just have fun and then take that memory back with me. Favorite underrated film, TV show, songs, oh my goodness. What's one thing that you hate? The thing you hate above all else. There's a lot of questions in there. Sneaky. Okay, so favorite underrated TV show. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, I know, I'm a nerd. And, uh,
Roseanne. Do you guys remember that show? Did you guys ever watch that? Oh, I think that is one of the funniest comedies, and it's just every the stuff that happens in it is just like it's so real, you know. Well, to a certain degree, but I think it's pretty awesome. Favorite underrated songs. There's an artist named Holly McNarlin, and she has a song called Numb. It was out in the 90s. She also has a song called Beautiful Blue. And it is absolutely, I actually can't listen to it because it's that moving. Um, I'll put a link for you guys if you want to check it out on YouTube. It's beautiful. Uh, what's one thing that you hate above all else? Ignorance, in general. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling spiritually and health-wise? Spiritually, I feel a little blocked out. I haven't tried to meditate since getting out of the hospital because um, I, I'm just kind of scared, I guess of what's there um, or what I might find or if if I can even do it uh, spiritually I'm more about uh, reading reading things right now so uh, it feels good and I kind of feel like a little no ephemeral rift has been talking about how we're a lot like plants, um, which is so true. Uh, I feel like a little seedling spiritually right now. Uh, Health-wise, uh, pretty good actually. I'm doing very well and uh, my doctors say that your health, you know, like my health before the incident, you know, it makes a big difference in how fast you can recover, how well you can cope, and also your pain tolerance. And mine's pretty high, so I'm very lucky. I'm gonna move my mic a little bit, just a little bit closer. Because I need to lean. It's probably better than it was. Okay, guys. What is your favorite childhood memory? I think it was asked us already. Uh, my favorite childhood memory is... What did I even say? Oh, climbing trees and making forts. Uh, I guess that's pretty general, isn't it? Let me think. I'd have to say... The first thing that pops into my mind right now is uh, when my mom took me to the air show and uh, the first time I saw a stealth uh, oh, and they're hard to see, they're so fast um, it was unbelievable it broke the sound barrier and the, when it flew over I can't even describe the feeling I felt. It was, uh, it was pretty unbelievable, the excitement and adrenaline, and I was almost in tears that it, it just excited me so much. It just was, I, I've been saying my whole life, I want a stealth jet. I just want one. <laughs> so, they're pretty cool. Where am I here? Okay. What are your future, or what are your, what are your plans for the future? Will you continue to make ASMR videos? Of course. Of course I will. I love it. Uh, if so, do you plan to appear in your future videos? I'm trying. We will, we all miss seeing your awesome role plays. Take care. I'm looking forward to seeing more of you. Thank you very much. I miss my role plays too. I miss uh, acting. 
just doing, uh, yeah, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to take away from it, but I will do more role plays, of course. Thank you. Hi, Kara. Hope you're well. This may sound like a strange question, but do you ever picture your spirit as having a color? And do you know which color yours is? Thanks for everything you do. I've always... Uh, I've always kind of pictured my spirit as having lots of green. No. Yeah. Do you play PC games and what's your favorite game on any platform? Okay. Do you play PC games? Uh, I do. I did. Uh, I can't seem to get into anything, but I love Sims. I really do. I love building the houses and the yards and putting in that uh, money cheat so that you can just build and build and build to your heart's desire. You don't have to do anything else. And uh, I just find it really interesting. But my favorite game in, in general, out of everything I've played or seen, is um, Dishonored. Oh my god, that game was unbelievable. So entertaining. Mm -hmm. This is ironic. Are you ever, or coincidental, I guess you could say, are you ever going to do any more sims stuff it's a video you did with the character creation and i just love it it is it's a really relaxing simple game to watch and i'm just kind of hoping you get back to it it's my joint favorite video from you oh i would love to do another one for sure i really um actually watching it back i i liked it I remember asking um, asking you guys, which was so amazing, all the replies I got for how many uh, or how to get the screen recorder to record your games just straight on the computer so I'm not like actually filming the screen or the camera. Um, I'll still look, try and look into that at some point, but I will do more sim stuff. It might be a little bit, but uh, thank you. Can you make a video where you whisper and cross your eyes and make silly faces? <laughs> oh. Sure, why not? Have you ever thought about coming down to Florida? Do you like Disney World? Where are you living now? I have never thought about going to Florida. Um, do you like Disney World? I would never go there. Um, not only because I have a thing against Disney, but uh, the crowds and, uh, well, thinking now, I don't even know how many rides I would be able to even get on to. But, you know, I would, I don't know where it is in the States. Is it Los Angeles? I would like to go to Universal Studios. That'd be cool. Where are you living now? I am in Alberta, Canada. In the prairies. Do you like to shoot pool, billiards, yeah, all absolute favorite sport I've ever done, is probably the only sport I've ever, ever been good at, um, actually, my boyfriend now, when we were going out before, he taught me how to play, and I ended up being able to beat him, and he didn't like that very much, he won't admit it, I was pretty good, uh, I actually would clear the table on like pool sharks that would hang out in the uh, the lounge that we used to go to and they were pretty impressed I just I almost could when I get down to look 
at my shot I can almost see a line where things will go so yes I love shooting pool I hope I'm not making the camera too shaky I'm like leaning on the desk here okay <laughs> What kind of videos do you have coming up? Wishing you well, glad you're uploading. Oh, me too. What kind of videos do I have coming up? Hmm. I'm thinking some guided, uh, maybe some meditation videos for I would really like to do one for um, pregnancy. I've been asked to do that. I would also like to do one for uh, work stress. So I'm thinking, see, I can't make any promises because it all depends on how I feel. So uh, yeah, you're going to see some more come up with something, I promise. Even if I'm recording something on my phone for you guys. Um, I missed you and it's been way too long, right? Okay. Are your friends and family aware of your ASMR channel? Yes, they all are now and they all fully support it. It's still a little strange to them, but, uh, my dad actually just became a cop and uh, maybe I could do some videos for combat, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder because he just got out of the military and also um, for police. <laughs> I don't even know what I would do there but I mean there's it's an endless list of possibilities. Uh, do you have any future plans? I think I answered that already. When are you going to make a new roleplay video? Oh, I'm so sorry I'm leaving you guys hanging. I feel so bad. Uh, hmm. I might be able to come up with a pretty simple role play. I kind of have a little bit of an idea for this next week. Uh, this next week coming up. I only have one doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna have lots of time, so I'll try and come up with something okay. Um, as long as you guys are okay with the fact that it's not completely perfect, which I know you're not, but that's just me. I'm working. What are your favorite ASMR triggers? What was your first ASMR experience? Um, I did say, oh I said that on Facebook, oh no, I, I did answer that in an old video. But my favorite ASMR triggers are, uh, I love tarot cards, the sound of them, I love hearing um, the, um, hearing the person read what the cards mean, tapping on the cards, mm. yeah, soft speaking, I'm not really crazy about whispering, I don't know what it is, I just, it almost um, keeps me awake. Can you please make, oh, okay. Could you please make a video about your glasses and your eyesight? Okay. These glasses are really old. They have little spots and they have all these like marks. Um, 
So with my glasses now, maybe when I get new glasses that'd be a good video, wouldn't it? Because then I would have a little bit of a write-up from the the eye doctor and also when I'm there I can really also when I'm there I can really study how they do it where are we here will you please make your meridian radio video into a series please <laughs> a really good idea, isn't it? Do you guys think so? I like the idea because it's pretty simple and um, if I can kind of find somewhere where I, because I needed quite a bit of room for it, but if I can uh, get my little area for it, which is right behind me, this is where I'm going to do my setup. That's where I would like to when I get stuff set up, maybe we'll see. We'll go from there, okay? I will take that into account for sure. <laughs> hey, Kara. Here are a few questions I've got. What's your sign, and do you feel like you connect with it? I am an Aquarius, and definitely I am an Aquarius. I am agreeable and a uh, little creative. I don't really remember a lot about my sign right now. I haven't read anything about it in a while, but I know that almost everything that I read about it, uh, at some point, I, c I really, really relate to it. Uh, and also, have you ever used a Ouija board? If so, what was your experience like? Oh, oh, scary. Oh, so scary. I was 13. And this is that's the thing. I was thirteen. No, I was twelve. Sorry. And it was a Friday the thirteenth. And um me and my friend uh two friends did the whole Ouija board thing. But the scary thing is <coughs> my friend had this doll in her basement. And the doll used to uh, be one of, this, one of those talking dolls. And it was really, really old. And every once in a while, it would kind of just go off by itself. And it would, I never heard it, but I was terrified to go in her basement. So this day, her dad found out that we're, we were using a Ouija board. So he put the doll from the basement in front of her closed bedroom door where we were in there doing a seance knocked on the door and ran it was terrible <laughs> oh I laughed out but yeah it was pretty scary how hard was it to get used to being paralyzed oh oh I'm s I'm not used to it I mean, it's strange because the first, um, do you have extreme difficulties in everyday tasks more so than you expected? Okay. How hard was it to get used to being paralyzed? At first when I, um, the first time I sat up in the hospital, it almost felt like I was sitting on a bowling ball. And I was very wobbly. It was really hard to get my balance. Um, I obviously had to do physio for that. That was really hard. Um, do you have extreme difficulties in everyday tasks? Yes. <laughs> I do. Uh, I can't, I don't even know if I can explain. It feels like almost everything I need is just out of reach and it hurts to stretch and try and grab things. Um, I'm pretty much kind of stuck in my apartment. Uh, when I have a lot of pain, we don't have automatic doors for wheelchairs. 
and the doors to our building are very, very heavy and very hard for me to get out on my own. So that is one of the things that's kind of crappy, but um, I'll get there. <clears throat> Will you create a new episode of Escaping the Asylum anytime soon? I really liked it. I really want to start working on part four. Um, I kind of have to be in a certain frame of mind for those because it's a very sensitive topic and I mean, I, I will be doing it though, trust me. I, uh, I have some pretty cool little twists and stuff planned, so. Uh, my question to you is, will you ever be continuing the Escaping the Asylum series? Those videos were my favorites. That's a, that's a totally different question, too. Oh my goodness. Aww. Yes, I will. What are three things you like about yourself? That's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, I like... Hmm, how much empathy I have for other people. Uh, even though it can be exhausting sometimes. I... Like my eyelashes. And this is like right off the top of my head, guys. And I am strong and tough and unstoppable. I really am. Kara, at what age did you first... Or did you have your first boyfriend and your first kiss? How did you feel about them? Oh my goodness. I can tell you a funny story. It's short. What age did you have your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend? I was... Fifteen. And... We... Uh, were at... Like, um... A, an amusement park. And my first kiss... I got drooled all over. And I didn't want to be rude and start wiping my mouth. And oh, it was just not what I expected <laughs> at all. Um, how did you feel about them? Uh, well, my first boyfriend was actually a lot shorter than me. And uh, it all just felt awkward and uncomfortable. What is your favorite holiday or season of the year? Hope you're doing well. Can't wait to see more videos from you. Thank you very much. Um, my favorite holiday or season? Halloween, of course, Halloween. Um, I don't really do much for Halloween anymore. And it being in an apartment, I don't really have a huge opportunity to decorate. So, uh, I love Halloween though. I watch all the movies and just really get into that, that, you know, mode. That's, I love it so much. <clears throat> okay. I hope this isn't boring. This would be boring, wouldn't it? Where were you born and raised? I was born in British Columbia, Canada in the mountains, and I was raised in Alberta. Yeah. I've lived all over the country, though. What is your favorite, oh, who is your favorite ASM artist, and what are your favorite triggers? Okay, so I went over the triggers. My favorite ASM artist, I actually don't have a favorite because they also I mean, I know this is going to be a typical answer, you know, but for real, they, they all have their unique styles, their unique ways of doing their videos. Um, 
get up to say ASMR whispering spirit. Uh, she reads tarot cards and she's amazing. Uh, she's actually a psychic. She's unbelievable. You guys should check her out. I'll put a link below for you. Okay. Yeah. A little shout out. <laughs> what would you name your dog if you had another one? A girl or a boy? I would get a boy and name him Bodhi, after the Bodhi tree that Buddha sat under. Uh, Bodhi means enlightenment, enlightened one. Yeah, I love that name, Bodhi. Yeah. Bodhi and Kelsey, I like that. Someday, hey Kara, I got an urgent question. Do you guess the numbers in Powerball for next Saturday? tomorrow. I don't know how many numbers. Is that tomorrow? Okay. I'll give you some numbers. I don't know how many you need. You need a 13 in there somewhere because 13 is a good luck number. I say it is. You need a 9 in there. That is my favorite number. And you need to put I'm thinking like a 23 in there somewhere and a 42. Let me know. <laughs> I don't know how many numbers. I don't follow that stuff at all. How old are you? Oh my goodness. 20. It's too late, isn't it? Okay. What movie do you love? <laughs> what movie do you loathe? Ooh, I got more movies that I don't like than I do movies I do like. Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. I mean, on one hand, it's funny. But on the other hand, I think it's just stupid. stupid. Not crazy about it. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. Who is your movie star crush? Male and female. Okay. Uh, my movie star crush. Male. Dick Gyllenhaal. Always. And female, Olivia Wilde. Or Emma Stone. Cake or ice cream? Oh. Brownies? I love brownies. I'm not crazy about sweets, but um, I'd go for cake, I guess. What's your best childhood memory? Answered that, right? I'm still going to read the other questions. Do you like Deftones? Uh, Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> the writer, the creator, the family guy. Do you like Deftones? Uh, I actually have only really listened to one of their songs, and it's the House of Flies. And I love that song. Oh my god, I love that song. But I never really listened to them more than that. Pyro videos, please. Okay. Actually, I was gonna do a quick cute little video for Facebook the other day uh, he loves bananas this is a new thing for him and he's just an absolute monster it's adorable so um, he's just finishing his last shed so when he looks all, all nice again then I'll do a little video for you guys what is your favorite ASMR video I'd have to say ASMR um, requests departure series because they are epic. You guys know that. She works really hard on those. Okay. Where are we? 
I really love watching your cranial nerve exam video. It makes me so sleepy, which is great because I dance late and can't settle to sleep until really late, so thank you. Ah, not a question, sorry. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad. I'm really glad I can help you sleep. You need that for sure, especially when you're dancing. Uh, I used to dance, too. What perfume do you wear? I wear white uh, musk, it's called. It's from the body shop and it's, uh, it's, it is a perfume. It smells amazing. It has a little bit of uh, patchouli scent to it. It's really yummy. What recording setup do you have? It sounds great. That's a secret. It's pretty simple, guys. Um, I actually do do it all different ways. Um, when I have a video that is mainly just audio and you see pictures, uh, I usually will put my microphone in a little homemade, like a sound booth, and then I cover myself with a blanket and it's just me and the mic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, right now it's just plugged into the computer and then I have a webcam, so, but thank you, it, it's, it's all on the mic. What is your favorite TV show? Oh, my favorite TV show. Um, of all time. Oh, it changes so much. Yeah, I'm watching The Killing right now, and it is so good, guys. It's very dark, and it's very serious, but it is the twists and are, are, amaz are amazing. So, um, I'd have to say my favorite TV show is Buffy. It's Buffy. Game of Thrones is always going to be there. Um... Buffy is something that I could watch over and over and over and over. <laughs> and I have, trust me. Okay. When you died, did you go into the light? I didn't die, guys. No. I was conscious. Uh, the One of the kind of crazy things that I think of now is I had two collapsed lungs and I still managed to yell at the paramedics and the fire truck and the firefighters and the cops to not put me on the news. I don't even know how I managed to say that, but I did not want to be on the news. I don't agree with the news and I didn't want to be a part of it and I didn't want people knowing about my private incident. <laughs> so my next question is, what's your favorite dish or dessert? Uh, I'd have to say my favorite dish is, I don't know, not really anything fancy, actually. Uh, I love making uh, tacos at home or fajitas, things like that. Um, it ha it's been a while since I've cooked those, so, I mean, I'm pretty much living off of smoothies right now, so, it's hard to think of what my favorite dish is. I love potatoes. Uh, dessert would be probably apple pie, warm apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Who is your current favorite ASM artist? Uh, like I said before, I don't really have like a, an ultimate favorite, but the one I've been watching lately that has been uh, on the top of my list. Uh, Softly Sherry, also, as well as ASMR Whispering Spirit, as I mentioned. Uh, she has great videos. And her voice is 
absolutely unique and, and cute and sweet and very caring. And I love her. Uh, what inspired you to start doing ASMR videos? Uh, I think I answered that already. Very happy to see you back. Thank you very much. Uh, what is the most romantic thing your boyfriend has ever done for you? As of late, I would have to say when he snuck our puppy into the hospital to come and see me. Um, he knew how much I missed her and it was incredible. We had lots of people there too and all of the nurses just loved Kelsey. So that was, that was pretty amazing. What inspired you to make ASMR videos? <laughs> I, get I get that question a lot. Um, if you guys end up hearing any uh, different sounds beside me, my boyfriend's here and he's playing video games. So if you hear uh, any buzzing or anything like that, that's his controller. Um, but the best advice I've probably ever been given is uh, learning how to self-soothe, as in um, doing nice things for yourself that uh, sometimes you just tend to not really think about doing and then the stress can build up and build up. Um, but learning how to take care of yourself in the sense of having a bubble bath or um, even just spraying on perfume, just uh, wearing something nice, just doing stuff for yourself that really makes you feel good. Um, okay. Uh, somebody says, wants to know what my favorite song is. My favorite song right now actually is uh, by Seether. It's a brand new song. It's called uh, Words as Weapons, I believe it is. And I love Seether. I've always loved them. And uh, I mean, they have some songs I don't like. They're when they're like a little too screamy. <laughs> Anyways. It's really good. New CD, I believe. All right. What old TV and or cartoon that you watched when you were a kid do you feel the most nostalgia for? Let me think. She-Ra. I used to watch that show. I adored her. I wanted to be her. She was so powerful. <laughs> she wrote and uh, reading Rainbow. Definitely. Um, also, Mr. Dress Up. I, don't, I think that's just a Canadian show. Uh, yeah. Okay. Read any good books lately? Um, no. I have, I still have like four books on the go uh, and then I go and end up just reading Archie comics because I'm just too tired to concentrate or I keep falling asleep. Uh, so no, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, would you please collaborate with Ali from ASMR requests? That is completely up to her. Um, I mean. I would obviously have to talk to her, which I totally could. I've talked to Ali before. And, uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I definitely would love to. Are you single? No. I am not, and, uh, I talk about my boyfriend quite a bit, uh, so, no. If you could choose four people to have a dinner party with, living or dead, who would you choose and why? Okay. One person I want to meet is Hugh Laurie from House. I really want to meet him. Um, let's see. Probably. Uh, Michael C. Hall, Dexter. Uh, 
<clears throat> the Dalai Lama. Mm -hmm. And the next one, last one, would be... I guess I gotta have a female in there. Who would I choose as a female? Hmm. Emma Stone, just because she seems really cool and funny and like a good person to hang out with. What's your favorite poem or poet and why? I love poetry, that's why. Oh, cute. <laughs> love you, Kara. Um, my favorite poet or poem. I actually don't know a lot of poetry off by heart. If I was to choose a poet, I would say either Sylvia Plath or, um, well, Virginia Woolf was a writer. I'll say Sylvia Plath then. I can relate to a lot of what she writes. Um, it depends on how you look at it, I guess. <laughs> do you believe in aliens or ghosts? Yes, I do. There's gotta be something else out there. There can't be only us. That's my view. Um, what album puts you in a better mood when you're feeling down? Hmm. I would say... I would have to say Florence and the Machine because it's really upbeat, you know, really good to go on. I like it. Alright, what album? Um, I actually don't really know the names of her albums. Uh, I'd probably be the most popular one. Do you sunburn easily or nah? Uh, no, not really actually. Um, I tend to tan pretty good, uh, as long as I have sunscreen on. Do you think people who have ASMR tend to be artistic and more sensitive? Absolutely, I really do. Definitely. I really do. Who is or was your favorite ASMR artist? <laughs> okay, well I answered that. Who is or was? Well, I guess I can say a couple other ones that I that I love, um, that I watch more. <sighs> My mind goes blank when the camera goes on. Hmm, let me think. Mm. I know I love watching Heather Feathers videos because they're so... I just, they make me smile. <laughs> so, I'll go with other further for now. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to think, there's so many. So many. Yes, Mars. Where do you feel you are in your life right now? Do you feel happy and accomplished, or do you feel that will come later? Love you. Right now, I feel like I'm just kind of climbing back up from the ground again, and uh, do you feel happy, happy and accomplished? To a certain degree, I really do, um, mainly, I guess you could say, Well, there's a lot of stuff that has been accomplished, but there's, there's bigger things coming. I have one I think is good, and I know you'll like this one. How is your bearded dragon doing? He is doing I mean, now that he's fully grown, he really doesn't move much, as you guys can probably see behind me. 
His lights off. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, he's doing great, and I still love him to death. And I'm gonna put out a video of him eating a banana, and you're gonna laugh so hard. Would you like to meet me? Sure. <laughs> I'm up to meeting new people most of the time. Alright, if you could do three collaboration videos, what other ASMR artists would they be with? Um, one that um, I have a script for right now. Uh, I don't know if I can say anything. Uh, okay. I would say... first one I can think of is DeLuca ASMR. Uh, the second one that, uh, the second one would be Ephemeral Rift. And the third one would be, uh, probably Silent Citadel. That's who I would pick off the top of my head. That's who's sticking in my mind right now. I'm new to this channel. I like it a lot, but what does ASMR mean? And I really like the spa roleplay video thing you do. It helps me fall asleep. That was the spa roleplay. If that's the first one you're talking about, it was my first roleplay. That was really fun to do. ASMR means autonomous sensory meridian response and uh, it pretty much means the tingles you get in your head kind of like your brain exploding <laughs> in a good way okay this looks like the last question what are your thoughts on cryogenically freezing oneself been thinking about it a lot the future is always so interesting, and I like the idea of moving on with the hope of finding a new, entirely different life. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'd want to do it. I think that that would be almost too traumatic, you know what I mean? I don't think I would do it, but it's a pretty cool concept. 